Yo, what's going on, guys? My name is Chandler of the Geek Slays. Welcome back to the Scuffed Ass Podcast, episode 24. I totally didn't just have to redo that. Today we're talking about aliens, since nobody else seems to fucking want to. Uh, yikes, I love redoing my intro twice. Great. You know, maybe we should go again, try a second take. No? Uh, no? All right. No. That would be a third take. I, I would say back with Wonder Weapon, but nobody gives a fuck. He's not on social media, so no one cares what your name is. What Facebook? You want me to start promoting that to people? Probably not. <laughs> I'm just going to go probably not. <laughs> Maybe if you had, like, you know, Twitter and other normal people social media, you'd be chilling. Facebook's for old people. There's no such thing as normal social media. Yes, there is. It's called not the only thing that's only used by 90-year-old. Fucking hot in here. What are you doing? It doesn't blow on you. It blows on me. It does blow on me, and it feels good. Just because you, you don't like being blown <laughs> doesn't mean you have to ruin it for everybody else. I like being hot and sweaty. It's gross. Okay. So... According to a recent report from the New York Times, a top secret Pentagon program, yikes, has been conducting classified briefings for over a decade, analyzing various encounters between military craft and unidentified aerial vehicles. Why couldn't you say flying objects? Just make it UFOs, you fucking cunt. Hit them with the hard D. Um, New York Times. The Pentagon stated that the program was disbanded, but a Senate committee report last month revealed... Spending on a program called the Unidentified Aerial Phenomenon Task Force. We got task force for this shit now. What is Sick. that? UAPTF? <laughs> UAPTF, yep. The UAPTF. Sure. It was reported in late June that U.S. Senator Marco Rubio had requested a detailed analysis of the task force's findings. Nice. Uh, the report stated the committee supports the efforts of the task force to collect and standardize data regarding unidentified aerial phenomenon as well as their links to foreign governments and potential threats of course they're aliens we need to murder no <laughs> they're more advanced we cannot have that we will lose this war <laughs> uh, now the new york times is reporting that the secretive task force is expected to release new and alarming findings that may involve vehicles made of materials not of this planet Astrophysicist and former former consultant for the UFO program since 2007, Eric Davis, told the Times that he gave a classified briefing to the Defense Department agency as early as March regarding off-world vehicles not made of this Earth. So, multiple fucking actual high-level people in our government are saying, we have vehicles not made of this Earth, and why the fuck are we not talking about this? Shouldn't this be big news? Isn't this, like, the only news that matters? Ah, I mean, I didn't, when I heard it, I wasn't like, oh my god, aliens! I was like, oh, I knew that already. Well, yeah, <laughs> sure. If you if you have a brain, you know aliens exist. That's how it works. I'm sorry, don't come at me with, well, my religion only talks about humans. Well, your religion also only talks about Earth, and there's, you know, a quadrillion other planets within a mile of us. So, you're fucking dumb. That was a little bit off, but... Sure, but do you know the actual number of planets? Because it's a number that I don't even no, know how no, to say. No, that's not what I was talking I was talking about the, the whole mile away <laughs> yeah, from yeah, us. Yeah, I know. I know. Could you, could you imagine, though? You'd be Dude, able to it'd just, be so like, sick. Fucking just go from this planet and just... Here I am. You know what else planet. would be sick? If Earth had rings like Saturn. Because you'd see them all the time and they'd look fucking cool. Well, after a while, we'd just be used to it. It wouldn't be cool anymore. It'd still be cool. I want to move to Saturn. Oh, so Literally, I, there's no land on Saturn. So, I read a thing. It's just a big ball of gas. No, I read a thing that somebody was... Somebody in, like, middle school wrote a thesis about how land could form on Saturn, and then they were trying... You, you were supposed to sell a planet. Well, this person was, like, selling the house on the on Saturn. So it, it was a whole thesis on how you could potentially get uh, land on Saturn and then build a house, and then there you go. 
And the fucking teacher failed them because they went above and beyond the expectation. It's like, the huh? fuck? I thought that was the point of I being thought that a teacher. Was, that's supposed to be a good thing. You're, 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 you're working hard. What the fuck? <laughs> you have PK wannabe. We, you're supposed to be average like everybody else. Yeah, get fucked. Get fucked, you average. But I mean, we've talked about aliens before. I mean, what the odds that aliens don't exist are so low that just, I mean, think of how infinitely large our universe is. No, 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 no. God damn it. Get the fuck out of here. No, no, that's not. Just stop being a jackass is really what I meant. Okay, so aliens, though, like... Just the, the sheer number of planets in the universe. Now, sure, they might not be aliens the way we think of them and, you know, able to space travel, which apparently they are. But even if they weren't, the odds of there not being other life in the universe is astronomically low. Well, especially since there's not just this universe. Like, multiple different galaxies and... Well, no, universe is the overall encompassing thing. Galaxies and stuff is different. Yeah, well, who's to say there's not more than just one universe? That's true. No, Well, that's the multiverse theory, which, I mean, we can get into the multiverse theory that there's an infinite number of universes where things could be slightly altered or very altered. You know, there's there's a universe where the only difference is you decided to wear shorts and a long sleeve shirt today. That's, that's a different universe. <laughs> and then there's another universe where I'm sitting here with, a missing arm and yeah. half my face is missing. There's there's a universe <laughs> where, you know, Trump never became president. There's a universe where and the United States no longer exists. Uh, I, stop. <laughs> the United States doesn't exist anymore. It hasn't for a long time. The United part, it's just states now. No. <laughs> so I mean I guess this wasn't as interesting of a topic as I thought it would be. But, I mean, come on. Why are, Why is nobody talking about it? Aliens are fucking confirmed. <laughs> I get it. We all thought they were real. But th there's a difference between, you know, yeah, they're real. And they're fucking real, man. <laughs> there, there's a difference there. I see a difference here. And well, just nobody wants to like, acknowledge the difference. That's like trying to run your credit card and it denies you. And then you go to the bank and they confirm you have no money. <laughs> that's pretty much how that's it was big for news. Me. Like, that's big news. I already knew I was broke. That's big news. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I guess. Calm down, AW. So, I mean, it's cool. I I really hope that all the stuff that they talk about in these Senate meeting things are going to be shared. Just share it. Let us know. I want to hear stuff. You know, I want to see stuff. Uh, I, I want to know. Oh, what? Okay. Here's some news. NASA sent a helicopter to Mars. Uh huh. <laughs> Wouldn't that technically not work? I don't know. Don't you need an atmosphere in order to for pro propellers to work? I don't know. Literally, they'll just sit there and spin and nothing will happen. Oh, Mars is now the focus of an interplanetary space race, including China, Russia, the United Arab Emirates, and the European Space Agency. You know who's going to win, though? None of them. SpaceX. The people who've been working on it for the last 10 years. They're ready. Well, I don't know. Russia beat us to... For me, well, I guess they beat us to space. We beat them to... The... Once they went to space, we were like, oh, God, we have to make it to the moon before they do. Yeah, and... We can't allow them to have an upper hand. And technically, we've already made it to Mars. Not people, but... Mars are over there. Well, no, I know, but... This says Mars, you twat. Well, I don't want to know about Mars. Well, so we've already made it to Mars. The rover's chilling over there. Yeah, I know, and they found uh, water. Um, well, 
Yeah. Well, I don't know how we didn't know that. You can, when you look at Mars, this is a terrible view of it, but you can kind of tell where the polar ice caps are. Because that's been the idea for a long time, is you launch two nukes to hit the ice caps. Because that would send, you know, vapor into the air. Could create storms and start to, and with all the nuclear radiation, could start to create an atmosphere and you could feasibly, you know, terraform a planet that way. Yeah. Which, you know, but the thing is, if we if we nuked Mars today, <laughs> that's just a fun thing to say. G give it a shot. If we nuked Mars today, it's just fun. <laughs> well, at some point, Mars will be in the Goldilocks zone, and it'll be too hot where we live. So Mars is going to be the ideal. Yeah, when the sun starts to expand before it explodes. Yep. Dizzy's fucking making. Oh wait, dab, bitch. You're here now. He's talking to you. It. You're here now. There you go. Ha! Let's go. There you go, Dizzy. We got the dab. So, uh, but fucking, but fucking, yep. <laughs> I can't. So I what's he on his mind? I lost my train of thought. Uh, what was I talking Mars? about? Well, Mar. Oh, terraforming Mars is kind of a decent idea. Dizzy with the resub, now been subbed for two months. Appreciate it, my guy. Appreciate you. Um, but, um, God damn it! you keep distracting me. <laughs> I lose my thought. Oh, t well, if we terraformed Mars, though, it would still, it'll take like 600,000 years for it to actually be habitable. Wanted to smash it. Okay, then give me the hundred and sixty bucks to replace them, fuckhead. What it is? What... Quit smashing things, Hulk! Don't smash. But big scary monster. Yeah, yeah. There, there you go. But little plastic thing. <laughs> but little plastic thing. So, and the whole yeah. Someday Mars will be in the Goldilocks zone. Yeah, but at that point, the sun's going to expand to the point where it supernovas and just destroys our entire solar system any fucking way. The sun will expand to the point where it just gulps up Earth. And possibly Mars. They don't know if it'll go that far. I don't know how far the expansion will go. But who well, cares? It, Once... on, it just depends on how big it gets before it collapses. Right. Itself. And then when it collapses, it's going to destroy everything else in the area. Yeah. And or also, re recreate. that's like billions of years from now. Probably most likely to recreate it. It'll create a black hole. Possibly. I heard. It's possible. And so then, yeah. No one really knows because we've never seen, we've, we've now seen black holes that we can observe. We can't really test anything with them, but we, we, we know they're out there now. Well, they're thinking, well, it, it makes and sense. Th only... We've seen supernovas that we can observe that haven't turned into black holes. We don't really know how a black hole is. Formed. But that's, well, they're thinking that, but because the only, uh, supernova that we uh, witnessed was, you know, different galaxy, but we could see light from it. And, well, you know, we, I don't know when that happened. Ago. But the thing There's, is, is there is a star a that one. should supernova soon, but which yeah. means it supernova yeah. millions of years ago. But the thing is, is what they're saying is it takes a very large sun to create a soup uh, to have enough energy to create a black hole. Right, and our sun's tiny. Yes. So our our sun probably will not right. Our sun compared to other stars in the universe. There's is, suns out there where you could fit a million of our suns right. inside of our, them. Our sun as a star on a galactic scale is fucking tiny, which is wild because it's so fucking big. Space is weird, man. I know. There's, that's that's one. It's just like the fucking ocean. I think the same thing of the ocean. Well, the weird thing is, is we know more about space than we do our yeah. oceans. Yeah, because it's harder to explore oceans. Yeah, which they, is they, weird. They say we only explored like what four percent of our entire. I don't even world know if oceans. that's true. I don't even know if it's that much. Yeah, like, right. Yeah. Like they just we don't have technology to withstand the pressures of water. Oh, uh, oh yeah, we were looking at the weird helicopter thing. Okay, let's click the. Uh, if you're gonna make me, I have to pay for a subscription to read the fucking article. That's trash. I'm not paying you to read your article. Uh, so where? Okay, I just somebody tell me about this helicopter to Mars. I that 
Two months after landing, it will deploy. Oh, oh, it's a spacecraft that'll go there and then deploy a helicopter. Okay. Oh, I, that's what I thought. Was it's right it's away. not a helicopter flying to there. It's it's a rocket. It'll land a helicopter. I think the that, only reason they're doing this is to test how physics work with no gravity. Well, so you need an atmosphere. Mars for, has gravity. Well, it has Ma gravity. And an, an atmosphere. atmosphere. Does not have an atmosphere. No, it has an atmosphere, just not a human friendly one. There's a difference. But I don't All think, planets have an atmosphere. It's just. I don't think it has a, good, a, a well enough atmosphere to allow it to gain any lift could right be. it's fl being flight tested yeah if successful future missions could use drones as scouts for human crews carry small payloads to scout distant terrain sure i that's a lot less cool than the idea of a helicopter just zooming its way over there well it's taking a really <laughs> long time to get there well yeah oh they apparently already launched the rocket i heard it i heard it's not going to be Right, yes. but still, I mean, it's kind of cool. It still costs them, like, millions of dollars to build. Oh, well, of course. Oh. Okay. I mind the the biggest, you know, problem faces are bodies dealing with radiation. Uh, so, that's, well, okay. That's what your fucking suit is for. Because no matter where you go in space, you have to wear that fucking suit. Yeah, but you're still exposed to a certain it, amount of light, a certain level of radiation. Radiation in space is you, different from radiation. You're on also exposed. You're actually exposed to the same radiation on Earth, not the same levels of it. But again, that is what the fucking suits for. We have suits that can allow you to walk through nuclear radiation. Like we we've designed shit that can withstand this. That's Scientists exist for a reason, damn it. Fuck. People who are smarter than us exist for a reason. You know, I I always thought, you know, I would go to space if I had the chance and then I realized I wouldn't go to space. Space is I'm, fucking scary. Well, not that, not necessarily that. <laughs> it's because you have to work out like four times a day yeah. in order to keep up your muscle mass yeah. because you use no strength to get right. around. You have no there's no weightless. Yeah, so. the just going to space would suck. But if we had, well, for an extended period of time, like if we get to the point where there's like a base on the moon and they're sending people all the time, I'm going to the fucking moon and you're not stopping me. Right. Like, I'm out. I'm outy. I want to go see the fucking moon. If we get to the point where we're just sending ships back and forth to Mars. Probably going to go hit up Mars for a few months. See how that, see how that is. As long as they have PlayStation there, I'm fine. Even if they don't, I can live without it for a month. Just go chill on Mars. Just to see it. And then you come home and fuck it and there you go. Your life's fulfilled. And you go to hell. Because, you know, not supposed to, we're supposed to leave the heavens alone according to the Bible. So, I'm not going to fucking do that. I'm going to space. <laughs> um... I don't, that's like, that's like it. I mean, dog di test positive for the coronavirus and dies. That's good. I heard that dog was like 17 years old, though. Oh. Well, yeah, so it's the same as humans, but still, I, don't be dumb. Humans, you can die of COVID all you want. Don't really give a fuck. Fuck people. I, I hate them. But, all right, now that our dogs are involved, let's fucking get it together. <laughs> let's, let's handle our shit now Tell your dog to quit licking me Won't get the corona I don't think that's how that's gonna work US could see 500,000 fewer births in 2021 due to the pandemic Excuse me? All people have been able to do for six months is stay inside I'm expecting an extra <laughs> 500,000 babies next year Well or the end of this Probably year, Probably an extra 500,000 that weren't planned. Yeah. Because most, Yo, what's people, up, most, Pink? most parents are like, okay, we really don't want to have a child at this point in time with what's going on 
Round of then like, maybe we need stop to fucking. Most parents are probably like, we need to wait till the next presidential election is over, and then we can have our job. Well, I highly doubt that, but all right, let's hear it. Um, yeah. Still, oh, what? Uh, first of all, that is not how you do pricing. One circumcision for ten dollars, two for twenty one. No, it's supposed to be like two, two for, for eighteen. Or yeah, you lower the price for two. You f God. Okay, you you're gonna need to work on your business skills, my friend. Uh, why Canadians are ahead of Americans on understanding UFOs? What did Canada know that they haven't been telling me? <laughs> uh, unpublished U.S. military findings about unidentified aerial phenomenon could soon be made public, but America, it turns out, could learn a thing or two from Canada. Why? We've had a database going back to the 1950s when it comes to tracking UFO- Huh? Well, here's the deal. You can just go ahead and cut- about half of my pecker off, and I'll leave about nine inches. In. Oh, fine. sure, bud. No. Got about half of his pecker off. He'll still have about an inch and a half, and, you know, he'll be fine. It doesn't matter. You don't matter. <laughs> but hold on. The Canadians have a database. Huh? I'm still... This is the most intriguing part it's probably so full of maple syrup. Of course. Um... It's the stuff of UFO enthusiast dreams. Yes, it is. Yes. Or conspiracy theorist nightmares. Yes. <laughs> Unpublished. Yeah, yeah, we already read that part uh, last week. Yeah, we read that earlier. Pentagon could be ordered to summarize and release the program's finding. Oh, that's cool. Canada is actually ahead of the curve. Last year... Uh, he donated his personal collection of UFO reports, including Jesus, including 10,000 Canadian government documents, 20,000 more from various agencies to the University of Manitoba. Uh, he said that he obtained some of the documents through access to information requests, but others he simply collected from. Wow. Wow, Canada's really open with all their stuff. Fuck, Canada's so much better than us. Canada is the better America. You you know that, right? It's like us, but better in every way. Except the gun policy. Uh, no. Also, weather, I guess. Yeah. I'm not big on snow. I like snow. I'll do you guys a great deal because I like you guys two circumcisions for four fifty. <laughs> if you're already circumcised, it only costs $1. fifty. Just clean it up a bit, you know. Just a little off the top. Just, yeah, just just a little off the top, you know. Wow. That's sick. Chandler. Any t no. Chandler's in on No. No fucking. Uh, no. <laughs> nope. From the 1950s to 1995, the National Research Council studied meteorites and often relied on reports of UFOs. Find samples of fallen meteorites. Okay. Tracking reports of shooting lights in the sky sometimes meant investigating UFOs. Okay. That's cool. Yo, Pink with the follow. I appreciate it. Take a follow free of charge. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. I appreciate <laughs> it. Um. So. Apparently aliens have been just Canada just knew. They were like, yeah, we know. <laughs> Fuck you. Canada's like, you guys are just now figuring this out? We knew this 60 years ago, you fucks. Like, Jesus Christ. Canada, reach out more. <laughs> yeah, help a brother out. <laughs> right? God damn it. Uh, so now I don't know what to talk about. Big tech CEOs have to testify before Congress. Why? Why? I don't know. I heard it on. Um. About it.
Oh, uh, I, I don't see it anywhere here. But apparently they're having to testify something about competition. Because, the, you know, Amazon, Apple, Facebook, and Google just own too much of the internet. It's like, so Mark Zuckerberg actually kind of made a good point. He was like, Amazon bought Whole Foods. That allows it to compete with grocery stores. Facebook bought WhatsApp and allow, allowed it to compete with telcos. That's competition. I love how smartassy they are because they know that the people they're talking to have no clue what the fuck is going on. So it's like, well, my favorite one was still from the how does the Facebook, you know, people's data, how, how does Facebook make money? Well, we, 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 we sell ads, sir. It, it, you could like hear it in his voice. He was just saying, fucking dumbass. What do you mean? <laughs> I'm sorry. You should not be allowed to make rules and judgments over something you don't understand. And here's the issue with Congress. None of them know what the fuck's going on. Susan Wojcicki, the CEO of YouTube had to go and talk to Congress about the whole COPPA thing at one point. She's like, it's so hard to explain to them how it works, since most of them don't even use flip phone. They just don't carry cell phone. It's like, these are the people we're allowed to run our country. Really? We got Richard and Karen up there. They're running our country. Fuck that. I think if you're over 50 years old, you're too old to be put in a position of power in our country. Between the ages of 30 and 50, those are your only shots. Older or younger, get the fuck out of here. Because I feel like between the ages of 30 and 50, you've got, you have kind of understand some stuff. And you're also not at a point where you're too fucking idiotic to, to, to you know, like, you, you can figure stuff out still. Try to explain to an 80-year-old how YouTube works. Fucking try. It. Well, that's well. My thing is, is we we still have that era that are you know they're still alive where they lived without sure. being technologically advanced. I hate the argument. So, and I think in fifty years that argument will not be sure a problem. You know what I hate? Everybody. You know what I hate? Gonna know you know what technology. I hate? You know what I hate? The whole um. Well, you know. Your generation couldn't live without computers. You're right. Your parents also probably told you that your generation couldn't live without electricity. You've never fucking lost it. Sure, it goes out for some time because of stuff. Because stuff happens. But we always get it back. Every time. It never goes away. Technology like we have will never go away. It's here for the long haul. Unless we literally all die. But then everything goes away. That hardworking spirit, you lose that too. Like, come the fuck off. I don't understand. Like, how do you... I, I don't know. I don't get the whole... Well, you... you, you it's not going to matter. Technology's just a fat. No, it's not. Especially with how aggressively... Technology is increasing, like, in its right. usefulness and its power. Like, ten years ago, a computer like this was... Er, uh, let, I'd, I, I'll go back a little farther. 20, 20 years ago, a computer like this took up an entire fucking room. And now I have it chilling on my desk. And can do... Almost anything with it. There's, like, there's nothing. You know? wild times yeah i don't know it's i don't you know i don't understand those people who think that technology is a bad thing like right technology yes, is amazing. downfalls to technology there's downfalls to at, everything like look at how how much technology has improved quality of life and, right you know especially for and happiness right like i i get that well less people are going out and doing shit because you don't have to anymore if I want to talk to him, I don't have to say, hey, let's go meet up. Or it's... write a fucking letter that takes three weeks to get to him. Right. <laughs> it's just like... I'll... By the time you get the return letter, you forgot what the fuck you sent them. 
<laughs> well, kids are playing video games instead of going outside. What's there to do outside? Eat fucking dirt? Like, I, I understand and that. What, like, and, But video games actually have an inherent benefit. Yeah, your it your cognitive and motor function are and actually your it rewires your brain into being able to have higher motor functions than somebody who yep. does not play games. But yep. that's not saying you can't play video games and then still go out and work right. and go outside and have fun and do Now, some, are there cases like of people who like can't do that? They like there are people who are just like straight up addicted to video games, sure. Yeah, because where they just th- never there, leave. there are outliers like that in everything, though. You cannot take the few that are an issue and say that that's the whole. That's not how that works. Just like the, you know, toxic gamer bullshit, you know, where people who play games are just assholes online to other people. It's like, it's like not everyone is like that. Those are the loud people. Now, sure, I'm an asshole to my friends when we play video games, but they're assholes to me, too. That's how it works. Started it. No, I didn't. Started Have you it. been to d and I didn't start shit. Well, I wasn't there in the beginning, but... It's always been like that. People just are mean. So... It's just because you're smarter than they are. I know. <laughs> I, I honestly believe that. Uh, are you taking calls? Why? I mean... Maybe. I don't really know how to do that and be able to have him hear you as well. I don't have speakers. I need speakers. I really need speakers. Get him on the speaker phone. Fucking of course he has. Of fucking course. Oh, wrong place. All right. All right. right. Fucking. All right. Where the fuck? All right. Oh, God. Oh, break. no. Ah! We're taking a call, apparently. First time that's ever happened. I don't know how to do this, because this cord's not long enough. Fucking work. Just... Apparently, I'll take the call. <laughs> Unless, it's, yeah, that's as far yeah, as it goes. Yeah. You just take the call, and then you relay, relay anything that's important. Uh, oh, sure. This is unprofessional. I don't have speakers! Hold on. This shit's not working yet. Oh, fucking wrong button. It's fine. Give me a second. Uh, this one. Oh, input device. Gotta switch to that. Output device. Uh, I don't know. The default. Does it pop up now? There. Now I have to call him? That's unprofessional. Hello. Yeah. Sir. First time caller, long time listener, sure. Can you Can you hear me? I can. Can you hear me? I can't hear you. Really? It says my shit's working. That this is just your fault. No, I, I I can't I can't hear you. There's something wrong with uh your your setup here. I'm I'm really excited to be on the show. Oh sure, sure, sure. Really excited to be on the show. And, telling and I can't, me I'm I can't having issues. You. you can't hear me. That's why you keep responding only after I stop talking. It's magical. Your your telekinetic powers are just magical, my friend. Well, I have your I have your show up. I can see your mouth moving. <laughs> sure, I have your show up. I can see your mouth moving. Sure, this is unprofessional, Dizzy. <laughs> I don't know if he's being serious or not at this point. <laughs> it shows my mic's working, so I don't buy it. Okay. I don't know what's happening. So, back to the thing. But what, so what are these tech companies? Unless there's absolutely no delay between your stream and the chat. 
Dizzy, I think you're on drugs. Uh, uh, yeah. Jeff Bezos. Amazon represents just 1% of global retail sales and 4% of U.S. retail sales. Walmart is double our size. But yeah, Amazon's the issue. <laughs> I... I love, I love this shit. When, when they tell these tech companies to come fucking, come explain yourselves, and then they go, dude, you're fucking dumb. Love it. It's my favorite. Dizzy, are you gonna say anything, or? He deafened himself? I can hear you now. You've been able to hear me the whole time, I'm pretty sure, but I... No, no, honestly, I wasn't. I honestly wasn't. Oh, sure. I don't no, I, I was able to hear you through the stream. Oh, sure. All right, so what's up? Uh, I was saying, first time uh, caller, long time listener. First time and, caller, uh, long time listener, yes. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I was going to say, if, uh, if it wasn't for the media, uh, uh, the news sources, sure. trying to demonize video games, violent video games as the reason for shootings and, and, and mass murders, things like that. There would be no stigma against video games. You're not wrong. Also at the same time, if they would stop glorifying the, the shooters and giving I, them their 15 minutes of fame. Right. Right. Um, um, but I, I think you're right. If they did stop trying to paint video games in a bad light in every way, that would change some things. Because they do. The media does try to... Well, didn't you see, like, the thing? I think it was CNN posted. You know, dogs and cats have belly buttons. Basically, all mammals do, except for marsupials. Oh, I did not. So, I lost what I was saying. Oh, Video games being portrayed. Be oh, CNN posted a picture of what the average gamer will look like in 50 years. It's geek. No. Ouch. But no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sure. Are you reading chat? Is it booby streams? Yeah. What the, what the shit is a booby stream? That's what... Dumbasses call uh, any female streamer stream because they're toxic. Oh. Yeah. Wonder you got this one. Hold on, I'm, I got it. I got it. Howie got it. Um, <laughs> oh, Dizzy says he's got it. Let's let's give him a shot. I'm a. Uh... I'm not seeing whoa, this. Uh, whoa, move, whoa, move. that's who, you fucking whoa. moron. Whoa. Sorry, my right eye is blinding right now. It's all blurry. Uh. Moo, moo, hoo, moo, nuku, nuku, ah, poo, ah, ah. There you go. There we go. There you go. Hit him with, hit him that's with a, the, that's, hit that's him with the, minutes, that's 300 seconds, not 500 five minutes. 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 That's you, five it, I swear I heard you say 500 minutes. I was like, <laughs> what <laughs> does that mean? <laughs> All right. Anyway, so back the, we don't appreciate the word I, I felt like, um We don't like booby. Well, it was kind of uh, funny because they were always like, not oh, in the chat. We definitely love boobies, but we yeah. don't like people talking about them in chat. <laughs> yeah. But um, well, not to mention the fact that he, he kind of referred they, to you. They, uh, everybody yeah. was like, okay, video games yeah. cause yeah. violence, and that's, you know. This. A lot of the today's oh. world violence is caused by video games, but then when the Corona thing happened, everybody like kind of changed a little bit. Yeah, like, stay at home and play video games. They're, that's a great way to social distance is to stay home, play video games. I'm like, we, you guys are so fucking hypocritical, right? Can we take a second and <laughs> talk about the 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 great Switch shortage of 2000 or 2020? Ah, uh, uh, yes, the great <laughs> Nintendo Switch shortage of 2020. Yes. My belly button lint, thanks for the follow. <laughs> um, no, it's your belly button lint. Yeah, belly button yes, lint. my belly button lint. Yes. No, your belly button lint. <laughs> yes, my belly button lint. I, we're saying the same thing. No, we're not. <laughs> I don't have a big enough belly to have belly it, button lint. It's your belly button lint. 
Yes, it is my belly button lint. We we're saying the same. Thing. No, technically, it is your belly button lint. <laughs> yes, it's my <laughs> belly button. <laughs> who's on first? What? Who's on first? What do you mean? Who's on first? Are we playing baseball now? I was. Who's on first? I don't know what. I don't Are know. you not familiar with that skit? No. Oh my God! Apparently, you're I'm not. Swan. Yeah, I know. Uncultured <laughs> swine heard it all before. Yes, yes. Oh my God. Oh, I thought you were going to go about explaining it, but okay. It's the great switch shortage of uh, 2020. Yes. Nintendo Switches are sold out every. But apparently, that's because probably all these people who don't know anything about video games probably still think Nintendo's the only thing you can buy. Also, I believe lint doesn't come from belly button size, but belly hair. There you go. Yep. I don't have any of that either. Geek, I, oh, I, I forgot you're a hairless cat. I am. I'm very hairless. We're, we're not going to watch juice. that on the thing. I'll watch it later, though. Well, you need to watch it either way. I don't care if you watch it now or okay. later. Yeah, I'm just not going to do it on here because, you know, Apple and Spotify are kind of douchebags. I noticed... The other day, something that I thought was hilarious. It's Abbott and Costello. So? Yeah, copyright, you twat. I didn't say watch it on stream. Right, that's what I mean. I, I'm, I'm going to wait until later. And up. But So I was looking at my yeah. podcast on Spotify, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, it doesn't show it on my computer. That's weird. I was looking at it, though, and every episode is marked as explicit, and I thought that was fucking hilarious. <laughs> Leave it to Spotify to put anything and everything out there. Ah! Stroke. Seizure. What the fuck? Why does it do that? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why that messes with me so bad, but it does. It's, it's not what is on... Not good. Okay. What, what, what are you going to say, Dizzy? There, there's something on his shirt. What's on your shirt? No, oh, it says Arizona. No, no, there's a gr big gray patch. This, this thing? Oh, uh, it's. I honestly don't know. Yeah, I don't either. I was gonna say it's Arizona, <laughs> but that's not Arizona. That is not the shape no, of that state. No, Arizona is a big put, gray like, patch on the map. That's, on that's exactly what it is. That's that's yeah, Arizona just on the map. Dots. That's Arizona on a map. It's, it's just, just a gray square. Just random dots. <laughs> random little yellow dots. Yeah, it's wild. Which is like, I got it. Let's put random yellow dots on there, and then put Arizona next to it, and we got a shirt. And we got a shirt. Big money. And and Big you're money. living proof that somebody bought it. Yeah, you're living proof that somebody bought it, yes. That's true. You are living proof. I <laughs> technically did not buy it. My mother bought it. Eh, still. still no, no, living proof that somebody, bought it. somebody <laughs> bought it. We weren't wrong. <laughs> but I wouldn't have bought it if it... That's what you say about everything. I don't know. Huh? I don't know. I'm just saying shit. I literally say I'm gonna buy this, I'm gonna buy that, I'm gonna buy this. Yeah, and then you get it and you say, I wouldn't have bought it if you know, I wouldn't have bought my truck if this nicer one would have been out. No, Ooh. no, I still would have bought the same truck. It was the that was the amount of money I had. <laughs> that that was my budget. Actually it was a little more than my budget. It was way over budget. Cause you know, I didn't have thirty thousand dollars laying in my pocket. Shocker. Yeah, I. But I finally got it paid off, so that it's funny. You know, it's funny. I paid five hundred dollars for my car, and uh, when did you get your truck? Twenty sixteen. Yeah, I think so. So I got my car like, I guess two years later. Probably put close to the same. No, you've had to take yours to Arizona multiple. Times. I've gone to Arizona multiple Still, times. Still, my car got me more bang for the buck. Billings multiple times. You know. Well, see, the thing is, is your car will crap out and mine will keep going. No, that's not how that'll go. Yeah. You're going to get hit by another FedEx driver <laughs> and my car will still be chilling. Well, at least my vehicle's made out of steel so I can get hit by a FedEx driver and just replace the door and call it good. That's not how that'll go. Also, every time somebody tries to fix my truck or work on my truck, they get all fucked up because they replaced my door with a 2014 instead of a 2011. <laughs> so whenever they pull up the, the fucking deal on the door, it's a different vehicle. So they get all fucked up. They're like, this is not how this should look. 
because they have the diagram all yeah, co- yeah. pulled up and 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 it's the not the same truck. Yeah, they're yeah. like yeah. So the other day, I was having I had to get my uh, CB joint replaced, and this mechanic comes out and he's like, "Dude, did you know your 2011 is actually a 2014?" I was like, "Uh." No, it's not. It's a 2011. He's like, no, well, it, it it's a 2014. I'm like, well, all my paperwork is a 2011, so something's fucked up here. So we're walking back to the truck, and we're kind of, like, pondering on what was going on. And then it was like, it, we both thought of it at the same time. He, like, looked at me and goes, did you have the door replaced? And I was like, I had the door replaced, and we said it at the same time. And he was like, fuck! <laughs> he was all pissed off, because so it screws up the hours and shit. Apparently there's a... Part of the Department of Defense that is called the Jedi. Department of Defense Jedi. Oh, oh clear my schedule. The Joint Enterprise Defense Infrastructure. The Jedi. That's fucking bad. That's fucking. Disney should sue the government. <laughs> they own the copyright you know, on the word. You know what Jedi. the sad thing is? They own that copyright. They Disney do. is the only. It's not a word; it's an abbreviation. Still, Disney is the only people that could sue the Disney's fucking the government only people and that win. Sue the government and yeah, win. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> Actually, the government probably wouldn't even let it go to court. They'd just be like, "All right, we're renaming it. Fuck this. We pissed um, off the mouse. We don't want them to unsolve Walt just yet." Oh God! <laughs> Give me my money, bitch! <laughs> <laughs> Give me the money! Oh God, that reminds me of the stupid ass South Park episode. Fucking right after Disney bought Star Wars, there was the whole South Park episode about it. It was fucking hilarious. Oh, so yeah, I don't know. I don't understand why our government's <clears throat> allowed to question things they don't understand. I like how South Park is literally the most racist cartoon, and nobody has a problem with it. Because South Park goes into it saying, this show's fucked up, deal with it. But then again, you have Paw Patrol, which has a cop on it, a yeah. cop puppy, and they have- We're not getting into this! Bring up politics one more fucking time. It's not politics, it's just people. No, you're bringing up shit that will lead into politics. That's your goal. Because today you feel like talking about it, and I'm not in the fucking mood. <laughs> Redeemed hydrate. All right, I'll drink some coffee. I just took a drink. Drink, bitch. You're not my dad. <laughs> you don't so, uh, know who random I am. fact. Random fact. I'm trying. I'm going to try to get us back on track here. Sure. Random fact, uh, a majority of adults, especially seniors, believe video games are a contributing factor in gun violence. Six to ten adults say that the amount of gun violence in video games contribute to a great deal or a fair amount of gun violence in the country today. Six out of ten adults believe video games cause gun violence. According to the centers... Six out of ten adults are useless idiots and should be put down. Got it. Among adults ages 65 and older... 82% 82% say video game violence, violence contributes a great deal. It depends on what state. I can't listen to both. Yeah, he can't hear. Don't listen to We've got to fix that. Get this man a headphone. It doesn't reach. Get a splitter. Lean, bitch. Lean. Get a splitter. You got to have a splitter. You, no, you're supposed to be listening to it, you fuck. I can hear him. Oh, can you? Okay. Uh, I was saying, this is among, professional solution. <laughs> among adults age, ages 65 and older, 82% say video game violence contributes to a great deal or a fair amount to the country's uh, gun violence, nearly double the share of those ages 18 to 29 at 42%. So my thing is, if you look at factual evidence of, let's go school shooters to begin with, all the evidence that anybody has talking like to their families say... They didn't play video games, or if they did, they played sports games. So, they weren't playing first-person shooters. They weren't playing GTA. They weren't playing violent video games, which is supposedly what was leading them to do this. But also, at the same time, there is another survey. uh, Let's see, where, where? While similar shares of men and women own a gaming console, young men are particularly likely to have one. Around two-thirds, 68% of men ages 18 to 29 own a console, compared to 46% of women in the same age range. So the same... It's... 
he are, are they are they buying the console hoping to learn how to shoot up a school? Like is that is that No, they're buying the console to play video games with their fucking friends. But if it says in that survey about the violence that the 18 to 29 out of 42 percent believe that violent video games lead to real life violence but also at the same time a 60 what was it i said 60 something i don't know 60 something percent of young adults own yeah or young adult males own uh consoles yeah but also that same 60% probably didn't have a dad in their life and they're fucked up in the head, so. <laughs> You're saying every single person who owns a console didn't have a dad in their life and they're fucked up in no, the head? No, no, but I'm saying that... You totally I'm, missed that whole thing. I'm trying you? to I'm trying to pick up where we're left off, or where you guys are at oh, here. Okay. So, in my, what, I'm, what I'm saying is that a lot of these kids that do go off and be violent and stuff didn't oh, have a sure. stable family. That just because they had a, you know, a console... Sure, they had a console, but they also probably didn't have a stable family situation, which caused them to have, you know, trauma and problems throughout life. My biggest thing is it's it's not gun violence isn't about guns or access to guns. Gun violence is about knowledge of guns. I'm sorry. If, if you were raised around them and knew anything about guns and they weren't just this thing you heard about as the devil. Right. It's a lot different. Well, yeah, you look at Wyoming. We have the highest guns per capita yep. anywhere. Yep. Anywhere. But you don't hear about shootings and shit in Wyoming. The, yeah, we have also the lowest gun violence per capita. But also, we do live in the town with the highest murder rate, which was literally... But that's one. Yeah, it was literally <laughs> one murder. There's just like And that wasn't even with a gun. With... It was with a fucking knife. That's true. <laughs> 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 Which further proves my point that you can just kind of, if I want to kill you, I'm going to figure out how. I don't need a gun. Right. right. I I'll do it. Just take my gun away and I'll use the sword that I got over there. I'll figure this out. That kind of reminds me. I've seen a deal where uh, this uh, guy and the, their landowner got into the dispute over uh, rent. And so this, the, the renter pulled out a sword and decapitated the... Uh, the guy that he was like, give him my money. And he just decapitated I appreciate him. that. So my biggest thing, though, is I've never played Grand Theft Auto and been like, you know what? Let's go do this in real life. Never played Call of Duty and been like, I'm going to go see how big of a kill streak I can get on. No, it's just like, oh, OK, we'll play some more Call of Duty later. Whatever. So uh, to touch on what he was talking about uh, and and. Geek, you know some things about me outside of you know the stream and everything as far as like my home life. Uh, children who grew up without a father are five times more likely to live in poverty, commit crimes. They are nine times more likely to drop out of school, and they are 20 times more likely to end up in prison. Yep. Sounds about right. Mm -hmm. So maybe we should stop looking at the thing that's probably helped more people than it's hurt, and that's video games. I'm sorry, video games are a super helpful thing for many people. Like me with social anxiety. Video games are sick. Sh streaming on the internet is sick. Because I get to talk to people and be around people, but not actually have to deal with people. No, I don't if know. If I get sick and dizzy that. right now, I can end this Discord call. I don't <laughs> have to deal with him anymore. But if I get sick of wonder, I have to try to get him to leave. <laughs> which wouldn't happen right he could just be like no fuck you and it's like uh, okay <laughs> like now what, i don't know if I you guys know this or not but uh the mental health institute has officially and this was a few months ago uh officially claimed video games is a disorder is a video game addiction is officially a mental health illness yeah and it was a weird stat, too. It's like if you play video games for, what, three hours a day? I think something like that. And my, my normal stream is five. I'm, I'm I was going to say, yeah, my, my stream go go per day is more than that. And, <laughs> and, and, go and that's not to include the video games I play off of stream, just because I think they're not entertaining to play on stream. You know, there's certain games I won't play on stream. 
there are certain games that you just can't play on stream. <laughs> so here is a article. I just read a little bit of it. Um, on the U.S. National Library of Medicine National Institute of Health. And it sure. says, <clears throat> this is the abstract for it. It says, video gaming is a extremely popular leisure time activity with more than 2 billion users worldwide. However, the media is well as professionals have underscored the potential dangers of excessive video gaming. With the present research, we aim to shed light on the relation between video gaming and gamers' psychological functioning. Questionnaires on personality and psychological health, as well as video gaming habits, were administered to 2,734 individuals. How did they come up with that number? I don't know. <laughs> uh, 2,377 males and 355... 57... <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, uh, female. Corona. Yeah. Um, Actually, no, that's COPD. <coughs> oh. <coughs> Sorry. So if he uh, gets the Rona, he dies, basically, is the answer there. Yeah. Results revealed a medium-sized negative correlation between proper bla- problematic video gaming and psychological functioning with regards to psychological symptoms. Effectively coping, uh, effectivity, coping, and self-esteem Moreover, gamers' reasons for playing in their preferred game genre were different differentities related to psychologically psychological functioning. With the most notable findings for dis, distra, hold on distractions motivated players as well as a action game plays. Wait, what the fuck? Finding for distraction motivated players as well as action game players. Future studies are needed to examine whether the psychological health risks reflect the... I want to get in on these fucking studies. Like, right, right. I want to be involved in this. Like, look, we need you to go play Call of Duty for seven hours straight and tell us how you feel at the end of it. Yeah, we'll, we'll give you $5,000 to go play. Right? It's like, right. Right. <laughs> right. Well, and then at the end of it, you just go, it feels like I had, you know... You know, you do it like a full sports interview, basically. You just... You know, it really feels like, you know, I kind of had an off day, you know, I wasn't hitting my shots right. Uh, I really went into really, it thinking, you know, this is going to be the one. And uh, four losses in, I, I kind of lost momentum. But I think that fifth and sixth game kind of pumped me back up. I came out neg- or positive on both games. Uh, <laughs> you know, really, really going to have to get back to work, you know, get, get some more practice in. You know, you get, get back in the gym next more. Time, you, know. Uh, you, know, ne- you know, next time we'll, we'll, we'll do better, you know. Uh, <laughs> I'm still Coach very proud really of this team. Uh, yeah, I'm proud of this team. You we, know, we, as we, far we, as we really made hard. it, um, <laughs> we may not have won, but uh, I'm still proud of us. Yeah, <laughs> we'll we'll get her next time. <laughs> next year, next year we're going to put in more time, more effort. You know, in the down season, <laughs> next year it, it, we're coming in hot, we're coming in heavy, and we're just we're going to dominate. We're going to take it to the hole, and we're going to dominate. And as far as I've seen from people talking about actual research, here's uh, so here's a statement from James Ivory, professor and research director at Virginia Tech, it says when it comes to actual serious criminal violence. Uh, before you finish, hold on. Before no you finish, the video games if, matter. If anyone knows about the relation between video games and violence and mass shootings, it's Virginia Tech. <laughs> it's Virginia Tech. It's Virginia Tech. <laughs> but it, James Ivory, the professor, yeah, Virginia Tech guy, yeah, yeah, says when it comes to actual serious criminal violence, there's no evidence that video games matter because they don't. No, they don't. Nobody's ever played a video game. Okay, I'm not going to say nobody. There's probably some fucked up dude out there. But most people, most normal people, don't play a video game. And, you know, they're playing Assassin's Creed Valhalla after it comes out. And they decapitate somebody. Most people aren't going, you know, that'd be pretty fun in real life. Most people. I think they're, they would <laughs> be more likely to say, you know what's really fun? Jumping off a roof into a stack of hay. Yes. <laughs> that, that I agree with, yes. They On just the way down dive the- into <laughs> a stack of hay and just, like, you know, snap their neck because they didn't realize, oh, that actually doesn't work in real life. <laughs> well... I think that's the biggest thing. I think people need to learn reality from again. Exactly. I think that I think it all comes back down to parenting. It's just like the whole YouTuber thing. Like these got, YouTube- are you really going to talk about that? Yes, I am. But like, <laughs> let's the whole YouTube thing where it's like you know if you 
are making content, you really have to be careful about what you put out there because kids can see it. No, fuck you. The parents of these kids need to control what their kids are watching or really? deal with the consequences of it. Absolutely. Like, I, you, I, me as a content creator, it is not my job to cater my content towards being a babysitter for your fucking kids. It is your job to parent them. I have all of the necessary, which I think is, shouldn't be necessary, but the thing that when you click on my stream, it says it's for mature audiences only. If your kid clicks through that and is watching my stream, that is not my problem. And as that is yours as a parent. you have no way to absolutely control who is viewing not, our content. Unless they straight up come into my chat and say multiple times, oh, I'm 10, I'm 10, I'm 10. It's like, okay, exactly. get banned. I have exactly. to. But if they don't say that and they're just chilling in chat, just talking, hanging out, having a good time, how, what am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to just go... Am I supposed to ask how old they are? No, that's fucking weird. <laughs> how old are you? Yeah, how old are you? No, fucking no. I'm seven. All right, get banned. It'd be fucked up, though, because there are people who are like seven, but they're actually like 25, 24. <laughs> Leap year babies. There's also people that are uh, human, but they, they think they're foxes. That's Yes, there are people who are human that think they're foxes. This is true. Or dogs, or yes, or yes. They're, they're, they're what? Foxes, or dogs, or horses, or oh, furries. Did you see wonder. the one about furries. the chick? Did you see the one about the <laughs> the um, chick that makes three figures a month? Three figures a huh? month to be, act like a dog. Couple hundred bucks a month. Nice. Or uh, ten figures. <laughs> okay, ten figures. The ten thousand dollars. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. That's five. There we figures. go. Five figures. Twelve, now thirty-seven figures. There we go. <laughs> Fucking three figures. It's like I don't think I'd do that. I don't know if that's worth it. But okay, five figures. Now we're now now we yeah. might be talking. But like, yeah, she's ten thousand dollars a month. A month. Sure. You go act just act like a dog. To this so guy. we. I, I missed it's the a, first part of the podcast. He's like not sexually sure. into it. Hold on, I'm he's back. like he has a fantasy of. He can't hear dogs. me. Okay. Like, it could have been a man or it could have been a woman. It, either one. All right, go ahead, Dizzy. If he keeps talking about furries, we're going to have to change the name of the podcast to the Fluff As. The Fluff <laughs> As podcast, sure. Okay, you were saying something about missing uh, the first I, part. I missed the first part of the uh, the podcast, and I've, I've got to ask, what do you, the, the title, Aliens Confirmed. What Aliens uh, Confirmed. About? Okay, I, see, nobody fucking knows, and it's pissing me off. <laughs> so, uh, the Pentagon, there was a, there used to be a research team at the Pentagon that was just studying aliens and knew a bunch of shit. <coughs> now the research, the research team was disbanded and now it's been re-put together by the Senate, the unidentified aerial something, something stupid. Uh, aerial phenomenon. Yeah, aerial phenomenon. There you go. Um, and they basically said, we have craft and are studying spacecraft that are not of this Earth. Oh, they yeah. Straight up confirmed aliens, and nobody's talking about it. So that was the first half of the podcast, was me being pissed yeah, I, off I, that nobody's talking that. about it. <clears throat> I saw that. Uh, I, I didn't read into it because I thought it was going to be some kind of no, government and, runaround. And then I also read a thing that Canada has a straight up database of all the different times they've had alien sightings and different alien information it's like fuck canada's beating us again amazing fucking canada there's uh have you ever heard of uh project blue book no project blue book it it is a uh it's a it's like a study it's a series of studies um of UFOs and they were conducted. It was done by the United Air States Air Force. Uh, I think it was back in like the 1950s um, where supposedly like this, this blue book project blue book uh, has documentation of different types of like different uh, races, I guess breeds, if you would of, of 
different alien life forms, you know, like species. Um, yeah, species like you know the reptilians and things like that. Sure. Um, and like they, there are actual like reports in this study of them being here and like half of the secret service are reptilians supposedly um oh, oh the whole reptilian conspiracy i see yeah that's fun uh which Star Trek like i think there was it. something i saw something somewhere about like george i think it was george bush uh jr uh, oh, obama was a reptilian, a reptilian? apparently um, so is Mark Zuckerberg. Uh, Justin Bieber is. Justin Bieber is a reptilian. Yeah, so is Mark Zuckerberg. And, and Megan Fox. No, Mark Zuckerberg is Dada's son. <laughs> what? Dada from Star Trek. <laughs> no, he's he's a, Mark Zuckerberg's a reptilian. He, he, I, have, have you ever you seen the man? Yes, I've seen the man. He looks he's just like Dada from Star Trek. <clears throat> did you not see him at Congress with the whole fucking I did, yeah. thing he was doing? Yeah. Um. Um, but, uh, the, the but, thing is, now you've got to ask yourself, especially in situations like that. Um, and this is my big thing. And anytime I, I talk to somebody about, you know, extraterrestrial life and, and, and things like that, the, the first, you know, I'll ask them, be like, Hey, so do you believe in aliens? And if they're like, no, I said, let me ask you one question. Is it scary to think that we are all that there is in the universe? Right. Or if there's other life out there. It's What's scarier scary? that we're alone. Yeah, 100%. Scary. I, I but also, the odds of there not being any other life in the universe are so low. Like, it, you're oh, yeah. more crazy to believe that there's that right. we're the only ones. Right. You, yeah. You're insane to believe that. Just yeah, I mean, there's about... so many planets. Well, there's thousands and thousands of other, other planets that we've already confirmed <laughs> to have water. Right. And to live and be in the Goldilocks zone to a sun. Yeah. That's all you need. Right. The, and there can there could be life, like bacterial life on other planets. They're just yeah. be, because like look at like the what are those things called? Like the weird bacteria that live in the like hot springs in Yellowstone that yeah. make them all the different colors. Those algae. Well, well the diff they're they're bacteria, but they're designed to live in these harsh environments. Who's to say something couldn't have adapted to live on that environment on Jupiter, you know, who's to, who's to say, right? Like, we don't know because we're not there. But if we could go there, maybe we could find something. We just can't go there, <laughs> so at least not yet. But we're getting to the point where we're gonna figure a bunch more shit out. Oh, I agree. I agree. I just yeah, think uh, I want to meet an alien. I want to sit down have a combo. <clears throat> I live in Illinois. They're they're everywhere here. Oh, sure. <laughs> the wrong kind of alien, nope. though. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I was I was confused. <laughs> but yeah, it. I don't know. It's just weird that nobody was talking about aliens being legitimately confirmed. It bugs me. It's like, why does nobody care? It's like I know. It's like you know. <clears throat> Wonder used the great analogy early, earlier. It's like going to the gas station and swiping your card and it gets declined. Then you go to the bank and they just tell you you have no money. You knew that already, but yeah, <laughs> it's confirmation. Yeah, that's, that's 100 it what was it, just confirming that's, something you already knew. <laughs> yeah, and it, that's 100% what it is. Like, the reason no one's talking about it is because we all know it. We're like, oh, thank you. Uh, <laughs> like, well, <laughs> <telling us. laughs> like, going to the grocery store, buying bread, and the cashier saying, hey, you got bread. Like, <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> or or having a, a rat problem in your house, and the exterminator saying, "Hey, you got rats." Like, <laughs> did yeah. you know you had rats? Like, yeah, that's why I called you over. That's here. why you're why here. Why do you think you're here? Like, thank you, U.S. government, for letting us know that what we believed all along was true. Like, we right. knew it. <laughs> I mean, I I get that point of view, but still, it's just... I think the only people who were denying that aliens existed was the government. <laughs> oh yeah, well, and and super uh, okay. religious people. Oh uh, well, yeah, because they're dumb. <laughs> and I mean, if if we want to try to tie this into some kind of religious like oh, back door, I really don't want to, but we can. Oh no, you got to hear this one. Uh, okay. <laughs> 
think about this. <laughs> We've all played The Sims. Oh, sure. sure. We played the <laughs> We've Sims. all created families on Sims and didn't like that family, so we move on to another family. <laughs> so who's to say that we're the only thing God has ever <laughs> created? Yeah, he probably created us and was like, <laughs> fuck, that was a mistake. He's like, you know what? I, I don't like the way their eyes look. <laughs> I don't like the way their eyes look. They walk funny. <laughs> they walk funny. Let's go over to this one here. <laughs> Why are they walking on two legs? I, inv- I designed them to walk on all four. What the fuck are they doing? Oh, I can do that, but... <laughs> but yeah, I mean, like... Wait, that's why is their tail re- going away? What the fuck? You're supposed Christians to have a tail. And, Christians and everything could just, you know, be all... Well, you know... It says in the Bible that he created the Earth in seven days, but... He was toying around with us for a while <laughs> to right. get us to he, you know, the Bible says we were made in his image. It could have taken a few attempts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're not the final attempt. We were the bastard ju- child. Oh, I, people flying I, I around in spaceships and high tech shit. That's probably the people he. Uh, <laughs> he he's yeah, the ones that are on. smarter. Wherever he eating eye pods and sticking forks in electrical well, sockets. Yeah, the, the, the ones who aren't turning, wearing a mask and trying not to catch a disease into a political statement. Or the one they, that drive their car wearing a mask. Oh sure, yeah. Right. That's, that's you're alone in your own vehicle. I have to wear a mask. <laughs> I'm scared. I might give myself the Rona. Sorry. <laughs> my car, my car might give me the Rona. I don't know who's you been know, in my unless car. Unless you're riding in a car with your dog, then wear a mask. Don't give your dog the Rona. Give your dog. I'd rather, a I'd rather you died than your dog. Like dogs are cool, humans suck. Let's let them live. I can, I can relate to that. All right, I think that's where I'm going to call this. So. Before we go, I do have a, a little funny story, and this oh. kind of goes along with the whole, uh, you know, rather you get the corona than, than your dog. Uh, I've got a t-shirt that all it says on it is antisocial, sure. and I wore it out yesterday. Sure. Um, two Home Depots and a Whole Food, all right? Okay. Walking past several employees at Home Depot, obviously confused trying to find what I'm looking for. You know that face you make. Um, oh, <laughs> they saw the shirt and they were just like, he doesn't want to. They hurt. said He's fine. nothing to me. That's awesome. At all. <laughs> Whole Foods. I am standing in an aisle. An employee is standing there. She looks at me and just goes, me too. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Confuses me. And I went, I'm sorry? And she goes, your shirt. Me too. <laughs> I was like, Oh. <laughs> Cool. Uh, go be antisocial together. And then we never <laughs> spoke to each other after that. Like that was the end of the conversation. Was me too. Awesome. That's it. <laughs> so I got a my. I have a shirt that just says, "Whew, that was close." I almost had to socialize. <laughs> I hate uh, her. Yeah, fuck that. <laughs> I'm just gonna stay home and play video games. Even though you say you hate socializing, but you spend like 10 hours a day on GTA role-playing servers socializing with fuckheads. There's a difference in socializing in public. Uh, this is true. I, I definitely why, agree. This is why I, I go to bars to socialize, because I get drunk, and then, you know, I'm like, I'm everybody's friend. <laughs> sure. But if if you ever go to a bar with me, the first hour to thirty minutes into or hour hour and a half into that bar, sure. uh, I don't talk to anybody but the bartender. Sure. After that, I'm hugging the guy sitting in the corner who just got off of work. Of course, you and are. don't know it. You're, like, you're one of those douchebags. Uh, gotcha. Yeah, yeah, I am. Gotcha. I am. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. All right, I think that's a good place to end this one. So, thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace.